So your vehicle has no heat, but with an SUV like this one, you have heat coming out of the rear vents, but not out of the front. It's not actually a heat problem, it's an airflow problem. But don't worry, the fix is actually a lot simpler than you might think. What people don't realize, when you have rear climate control, you actually have an extra blower motor in the back that's controlling the rear. We know we have good flow in the back, but there's no flow up front. Let's check out the front blower motor. Before we start ripping and tearing anything apart, it's always a good idea. Check the controls. Make sure there's not something just off and that's your issue from the start. You can also check the fuse, make sure it's good. If the fuse is blown, that doesn't mean that's the only problem with the vehicle. Fuses don't just blow because they're bad. Normally, you have another condition that's causing the fuse to blow. Now we're gonna look at the blower motor. On most vehicles, you're gonna find it underneath the glove box on the passenger side. There may be a cover that you have to remove. You can disconnect the connector. Take a look at it, make sure it's not burnt. This looks good, there is a lot of current that goes through here. And if you just have two wires going to the blower motor, a red and a black, they may be different in color. You wanna take a test light and make sure you have power and ground. So the red is gonna be the power, and the black is gonna be the ground. When you turn the key in the on position, your light should light up. That's indicating all the wires to this position are good, the blower motor is gonna be bad. And you could even take a hammer and give the blower motor a little tap right there. If the blower motor starts working, then there's something going on with the blower motor. There you go, there's our blower motor. This blower motor happens to have the module attached to it. If you just had power and ground going to it, it would be at full blast all the time. Sometimes you wanna turn the blower motor down a little bit and that's controlled by the module. Not all vehicles have that. Other vehicles have something called a resistor and that's separate from the blower motor itself. If the resistor is bad, it could cause some issues with the blower motor and vice versa. It's always a good idea to replace the blower motor, the resistor and or module at the same time. And if you need those parts, you can get those at 1AAuto.com. Now we'll take our new blower motor, slide it in position, put the cover back on, and give it a test. All right, let's test it out. There we go. That's working good. That was an easy repair, and that's something you can do yourself and get your parts at 1AAuto.com. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. You have heat coming out of the back vents, but not the front. Let me do that again. It's not actually a heat problem, it's an airflow. Ugh. It's not actually a heat problem, it's an airflow. Ugh. I shouldn't have picked that word. <laughs> the controls, make sure something's not just turned off. Ran out of breath. <laughs>